fish on just the same. The image of the church is Christ crucified between two thieves. Yeah. That's the vision we have. That's the image we have before us today. Yes. The church is Christ crucified between two thieves. Yes. The story is told of an old preacher who was dying. And he sent a message for his doctor and his lawyer, both church members, to come to his home. And when they arrived, they were ushered into his bedroom. And as they entered the room, the preacher held out his hands and motioned for them to sit one on either side of his bed. And the preacher held their hands and he sighed contentedly and smiled and he stared at the ceiling. For a time, no one said anything. Both doctor and lawyer were touched and flattered that the preacher would ask them to be with him during his final moments. They were also puzzled. The preacher had never given them any indication that he particularly liked either of them. And they both remembered his long, uncomfortable sermons about greed, covetousness, avariciousness, behavior, avaricious behavior that made them squirm in their seats. And finally, the doctor said, Preacher, why did you ask us to come here? The old preacher dying, he mustered up his strength. Then he said very weakly, Jesus died between two thieves, and that's how I want to go. <laughs> Michelle, don't feel bad. Dr. Michelle is here this morning. And so, brothers and sisters, I say that to say this, to misuse things that belong to others is a form of theft. To misuse things that belong to others is a form of theft. And we are thus thieves, for we have misused what belongs to God. Boy, well, my church quiet this morning. Yes. But that's all right. Because if it should happen that I lay dying this week, I'm going to say for all of you. <laughs> Consider some of the things we claim as our own and how easily we misuse them. We own so many things. We claim so many things. And how often do we misuse them? What are some of these things that we misuse? Our bodies, our time, our talents, our money, our gift of speech, our gift of freedom, and so forth. We call them ours. But they really belong to God. And if we use them in ways contrary to the intention of the owner, we are guilty of a form of theft. So, brothers and sisters, the church is Christ crucified between two thieves. And that's the first, the vision, the image we have of the church. The second concept of the church is, or the gospel passage is, variance. Difference. 
there are two thieves and both were very different yes. even in the church brothers and sisters we have saints and sinners even in the home no two brothers are alike no two family members are alike we're all different In the world, there are those who will turn to Christ to be saved. And there are those who will turn away and be lost. One feast, he derides Jesus Christ and he makes demand of Jesus. Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The text says this thief reviles Jesus. And to revile means to speak against another with contempt or to treat some one as vile or loathsome. The other thief, he references Christ and he rebukes the other saying, Welcome, you know, fear God. Have you no fear of God? He asks him. You see the variance? You see the difference? This thief recognizes his guilt. We have been condemned justly. He says, and in recognizing and accepting his condemnation, he says, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Into your kingdom. Man, Lord. <coughs> Jesus, remember me. Remember me. Hallelujah. When you come into your kingdom. Into your kingdom. Lord. And notice what he does. He leaves the terms of it yes, up Lord. to Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. He acknowledges that he is a thief. Amen. And he now places his life oh, yes, Lord. under the authority okay. of Jesus Christ the King. Oh, yes. Amen. Brothers and sisters, where is your life this morning? Wow. Is your life under the authority of Jesus Christ? Yeah. Yeah. And so here we have two different men. Amen. Yes, brothers and sisters, Christ came to call sinners, yes, even thieves, if you will. Yes, we are all thieves. And that is true. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Yes, we are all thieves. Amen. But pray God. Yes. We are the good thieves. Yes. Lord. yes. Pray God. Yes. We are the repentant thieves. Amen. The one thief who is not ready to resubmit himself to the authority of Jesus yes, Christ Lord. who is king of all creation yes, and king of us thieves. Amen. And so brothers and sisters, now heaven is a red seal, something we don't deserve. But heaven is only access to repentance yes. and faith. Amen. The bad he wants release. Yes. But he will not open the door of his heart by repentance and faith so that Jesus can save him. Hmm. Mercy is offered yes. and available right there next to him. But mercy is accessed through repentance 
and faith. Shall we praise the Lord? Oh, yes. Ah. Praise the Lord. The bad thief does not open the door of his heart. But the good thief, he opens his heart and he will be saved. Yes. Praise the Lord. So we have vision. Variance. Variance. And the third concept is veracity. Sure. Mm -hmm. ah. Truth. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the question is, is Christ really your king? Very nice question. Is Christ really your king? Yes. Yes, a king has authority. So another way of asking it is, does Christ have authority in your life? Yes. Does Christ have authority in your life?
I'm sure you get the point by now. It is one thing to call Christ our King. It is another to be truly under His authority. Yes. And the Lord is clear enough in telling us that He expects our obedience. Why do you call me Lord and do not do what I tell you? Luke 6 46. Brothers and sisters, is Christ your King? Hmm. Which feast are you really? Vision. Variance. Veracity. Veracity. And we come now to victory. Yes. Vision. Variance. Veracity. Victory. Hallelujah. The thief who asked Jesus to remember him manifests a kind of baptism of desire as well as repentance and faith. And as such, he moved straight away into the victor's power. He moved straight away into the victor's realm. Jesus' word today you shall be with me in paradise indicates a dramatic and a sudden shift for the thief. In other words, Jesus says to him, your faith has saved you. As of this moment, yes. you are now at my side. Amen. As of this moment, I am your saving Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, you and I need to stand on the promises yes. Oh, yes. of Christ. Hallelujah. Indeed, I promise you. Yes, Lord. Today, you will be with me. You will be with me. Hallelujah. In paradise. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. yes. Promises. Yes. Promises. Yeah. Promises. Which of us have not suffered from broken promises? Which of us have not gained from promises kept? Amen. In all the universe, yes. there has never been a promise like the one Jesus made on the cross. Hallelujah. Do you hear the church? Yes. In all the universe, yes. there has never been a promise like the one Jesus made Thank on the you, cross. Oh, yes. Today! Yeah. You'll be with me. Not tomorrow. Yes, no, no. Not next week. No. Not next year. Yes, Jesus. Not later. Oh. Today! Yes. You will be with me yeah. in paradise. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, this promise is also made to all of us. Oh, yes. Yeah. Today you will be with me Hallelujah. in paradise. Hallelujah. Now to be with Jesus, wherever he is, yes. is paradise yes. and victory. Amen. Amen. Yes. The Lord. Soon and very soon, the, Lord is the, king, man. the heavens will be open. Yes. Yes. But the victory is now. Yes. 
and paradise begins now. Hallelujah. And thus he exclaims the victory through his choice for Jesus Christ. And I ask you this question. Will you have the victory? Will you have the victory? Yes. Well, that depends on if you choose the prince of the world or the king of the universe, Jesus. Yes. You know, there are some who think they can choose neither Jesus nor Satan. And they tried some middle way, some middle ground. Well, if that's your choice, I've got news for you. Yes, Lord. You have chosen the prince of this world yes. who loves compromise. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because Jesus says, whoever is not with me is against me. Is against me. Yes. And whoever does not gather with me scatters. Matthew yes. 12 and 13. Yes, Jesus has yes. promised oh. paradise. Yes. And so like the good beast, we must look to Jesus and ask to be remembered. Oh, yes. yeah. We ask not only by words of prayer, but also by deeds of faithful discipleship. Oh, yes. We ask for a share in paradise. For example, when we love those who are difficult, yes. when we show mercy, to someone who does wrong. When we give hope to those who are burdened with the cares of this life. Yes, brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ, our King, keeps his promises. Yes. And one day, we, his faithful disciples, will be with him in paradise. Lord. So today, you need to make Jesus your choice. Yes. Choose today yes. who you will serve. Oh, yes. Lord. Brothers and sisters, as for me, I decided to make Jesus my choice. Oh, yes. Follow Jesus. Yes, and as the writer says, I am determined. Hold on to the end. Hold on. Yes. To the end. Somebody yes. praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you determined? Yes. To hold on. Yes. To the end. Yes. Never mind what's happening in your life. Yes. Never mind what's going on around you. Yes. Never Because Jesus has promised paradise. Oh, yes. Now I pray that you will truly be my king in all things. And that my choice will be more than little service. Yes. So come now, Jesus. Come, Lord. Come, Master God. Come. Oh, yes. Glory. And reign in our hearts. Let us begin now, church, yes. to experience Hallelujah. victory and praise. Oh, yes. oh, victory, oh, yes, Jesus. Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Come, on, Lord. Yes. Come, Lord. My Lord. Glory. Sit upon my heart. Oh, yes. Because you are the King of Kings. Oh, yes. Lord. Hallelujah. His name is wonderful. Oh, His name is wonderful. Oh, His name is Jesus. Oh, yeah. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. We worship. We worship. We glorify. We give you praise.
Ask your name, Lord. Church, please. 